G'day, welcome to the lab. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be showing you my Raspberry Pi Zero W GIF camera. So this is a camera based around the new Raspberry Pi Zero W and it doesn't snap photos, it actually snaps moving images, GIFs. Now because it's a Raspberry Pi Zero W, it also has the option to tweet the GIF that you snap to a Twitter account of your choice. So let's take a quick tour of the camera. On the front we have the protrusion for the camera module and you can see the, the camera's light shining through there. We have uh, this, this nice analog viewfinder. On the side we have our power switch and USB charging port. So you can charge this like any modern device off a USB port. And on the top we have a illuminated shutter button. There's a few redundant holes in the case like this one in the bottom which was originally for a USB drive and this one here which was I think originally for the power switch but nonetheless that is our complete camera we also have a little status LED peeking through here so let's quickly snap a GIF let's just place this on top of our studio camera perfect all right and go. Oh, I think I just I think I just got into the back of that. So it takes it takes about five seconds to capture the GIF. And while it's capturing, this yellow light is strobing. Once it's finished capturing the GIF, we have this processing light to tell us that the Raspberry Pi is stitching the single images into a GIF. And now that the processing is complete, we can actually jump on the computer and take a look at the GIF that was created. So I'll open up my file explorer. And if I go to backslash backslash GIF cam, you can see that the Raspberry Pi is hosting a shared folder that we can access over the network. So not only can it tweet the GIF, but we can also retrieve them directly from it. So I can go into the GIFs folder and there's the GIF that I just took. So I'm going to copy that onto my desktop and you can see if I got into the frame in time. All right, let's take a look. Now oh, there I go and I just get in. And so you can see the GIF is actually playing forwards to the end point and then it's coming back to the start. So it's kind of running forwards then backwards repeatedly. So the camera is driven by a single Python script and I'll show you how we can modify the behavior of the camera by just tweaking a few variables within that Python script. So I've opened up PuTTY and I'll be able to SSH to my camera because it's already on the same network by using its host name which I have set as GIFCAM. And I can log in. Okay, so now we're in the GIF camera and you can see that in the home directory, all I have is the GIF cam directory. So I can change into that and we have the GIF cam.py script. This is the script that's running the camera. So I'm going to open that up with nano. And now we're inside the script and the behavior of the camera is controlled by these so-called behavior variables at this block near the top. So this is where we can change the number of frames that are in the GIF, the millisecond count that the frame is displayed. So in this case, we're, each frame is displayed for 15 milliseconds. Rebound, which uh, determines whether the GIF plays from the start to the end, or if it plays from the start to the end and then back repeatedly. So it kind of changes the looping behavior. And then this tweet variable, which is currently false, that allows the camera to tweet or not tweet. And to have it actually tweet, you need to come down here and populate these, these Twitter authorization uh, tokens for your Twitter app that you need to create. So I, clearly I'm gonna have to now reset the authorization tokens for my Twitter app, but that's, that's just these top two sections. So you've got this Twitter section, underneath this behavior variable section. So those are the two key areas of the script if you want to modify the camera's behavior. So let's actually snap a GIF. We can see that the yellow light is on, which is indicating the ready status. So if I were to press the yellow button, we can see now that it's strobing, which is indicating that it's capturing a GIF. And that takes about five seconds for the settings that I have. Now once the GIF is captured, we have the red processing light blinking. 
And this light will blink while ever the, the still images that were captured are being stitched into a moving GIF. And also the blinking behavior changes if you have the GIF then uploading to your Twitter account. So that's completed now. Okay, enough of playing around. Let's actually see what's inside this thing. I'm going to turn it off and let's tear it down a little bit. And there we have it. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So this is the internals of the camera. And you, the first thing you might notice is I've been pretty liberal with the use of hot glue. And there's, there's, a, there's a good reason for that, I promise. But let's just have a look at the, at the topology first. So we have our Raspberry Pi right in the middle here. And I've actually wrapped that in uh, capped on tape, which is a, an insulating tape, just because, you know, it's crammed right in there. There's a lot of wires. You can see that there's some connections here. So I've just wrapped the whole thing up to keep it nice and safe. It's connected to a lithium battery that's in the case. We have our shutter button coming in here, our status LED nestled in this little uh, nook right here. This circuit board is our charge controller. So it's actually both a battery charger and boost circuit. So we can run the entire show, which operates on five volts off a 3.7 volt lithium battery and charge it through that USB port. So that's all built in. That's um, an Adafruit uh, PowerBoost 1000C. And that, that's the model that gives you that very convenient USB socket. This is just the power switch. It's connected to the enable disable line of the power boost. And then everything just comes together to power the Pi. So the Pi is connected. It's, it's quite hard to see. It's actually a bit impossible to see, but the, the Pi is connected to the camera module using a, uh, a Pi camera ribbon cable. And at the time of building, I only had access to a very short cable so that the Pi couldn't actually mount where it was originally intended to when the case was designed. But that's just a quick rundown of the internals of the camera. And you can see there's definitely room for perhaps a larger battery or more batteries. So you could roll your own battery pack using nickel metal hydrides and use a, a different charging controller. No worries. If you're interested in building your own version of this tweeting GIF camera, you can find a full write-up in the project section of our website. So over on coreelectronics.com.au, you can navigate to the projects tab and find the tweeting GIF camera. So let's take a quick look through this, this page. We can see we've got some basic installation instructions on how to set up the appropriate software to get the camera to run as you want it to. And I've also done a bit of a write up on the 3D printing. There's a, a circuit diagram here for you. And then just a few um, instruction steps on how to modify the battery if you need to, and just how to generally assemble the camera. And of course, this is the, this is the shot that we uh, got a, a closer look at just before. So there you have it, the tweeting Raspberry Pi Zero W GIF camera. Now, if you have any questions about anything specific to do with building the camera, or if you have any suggestions for improvements we can make to the project, we'd love to hear from you on the forums. I'll catch you later.